Welcome to 2K Sports. We've got live NBA basketball headed your way on this fine Wednesday afternoon. Tonight, we'll see Toronto as they play against Albuquerque. Hi, folks. Brian Anderson here, alongside two fantastic analysts, Grant Hill and Brent Berry at the table, and our reporter, Ali LaForce. And here's Albuquerque now. Murray with it. Driving inside. And it's Murray finishing it off. Murray just getting by him in a flash. And so it's Booker with it. He brings it up for Toronto. Brent, what's something you've seen from Murray's time in San Antonio to now? Well, there's been no stoppage, B.A., of the type of work that DeJounte Murray puts in. Now, he's had to learn a new system, but he's adapted to that, and he continues to play both ends of the floor to make an impact. Jackson, the screen. Left side, Murray. Got it. Murray's got his second basket of the game. Boy, Murray just one of those guys who loves to work it inside. Booker for three. And it's Albuquerque with a rebound. Jackson, right side. Pass to Murray. And now just over a minute played here in the first. No good from 18. Here's Serrano with the ball. Isaac with the steal. Outside, Green. Picked by Isaac. And that one's good. Green. The defensive effort was lacking a bit, but hey, give them credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Ben Carroll the screen. Out to the right wing. Back to Booker. 4-3. The rebound by Jackson. Just enough of a shot contest to bother him. And here's Murray. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Yeah, good touch from Jackson Jr. Ready to score inside when given these opportunities. Here's Booker. Pass to Embiid. Takes a three. And again, Toronto, no good. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Picked by Isaac. Here's McGrady. Out of bounds. It'll be Toronto's ball. Toronto trails by six. For three, Booker. Connects from downtown. Booker's got five. Well, Booker being assertive on offense when the defense isn't playing him tight enough. He's taking full advantage. Pass to Green. And it's hammered home by Green. Mm, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Booker with it. Checked by Murray. And he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. And that's the kind of play you put on repeat. Just go back to Booker in the pick and roll. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. McGrady, shot is off. I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. Here's Embiid. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. I love the confidence Embiid plays with, especially this close to the rim. 
Pass to McGrady. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Green. Shot clock at five. Isaac for three. He's off on that one. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Albuquerque out in front. They lead by one. Don't go away. We'll be back. And some good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Albuquerque? Well, we've seen them take advantage of the lanes given to them so far. The defense isn't plugging it up, and it's being exploited. Now, getting to the inside is really important, but it's how close you can get to the basket. It feels like these guys are all around the rim in their attack tonight. Here's Fultz. And he lays it up and in. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Kicks it out to Isaac. Pass to Murray. Green with the ball. Picked by Isaac. Shot clock at six. The shot that time, not on target. Oh, nice D from Fultz. Going inside. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. He does that so well. At his size, he's always a threat to throw it down. Pass to Turner. Here's Fultz. Here's McGrady. Hey, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. Woo! He, he just levitated in the air. Double pump and then slammed it home. How about the D right there? They just got out of the way. They let him choose what kind of move he wanted to make. And Grant, DeJounte Murray, a bit of a throwback player. He's comfortable attacking at all three levels. Yeah, B.A., I mean, he does a lot of work in the mid-range for a guard. He's very comfortable with any shot on the floor. He's not shy about putting up a ton of attempts if that's what's needed. Analytics already don't favor the mid-range jumper, let alone against exceptional defense. Fultz with it. Green picks him up. Harrington. That one falls. Nice assist by Fultz. Harrington's got his first three points of the game. And it's Green missing. Yeah, can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but look like plenty of room. To the paint. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. He can really read the floor. Precision pass in rhythm. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Here's McGrady. They kick it out to Murray. To the inside. Here's Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. I mean, big time finish from Jackson. He is a force out there. Here's Fultz. Pass to Harrington. Here's McGrady. Back to Turner. Releases. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. And Toronto leads by six. Got to be encouraged watching Turner shoot with conviction, realizing his team trusts him to take these fast shots. Here's McGrady. There's the drive. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. 
He flashes to the rim and is met with no resistance. Pass to Turner. Three-pointer. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Out of bounds as Toronto keeps possession. The attention to detail on defense. Jackson reads shooters well and knows when to go for blocks. Some changes for Toronto. Outside Booker. Oh, what the fuck? And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played. Really buckling down on the defensive end. Outside Murray. Hey, yo, right here. Picked by Isaac. Throws it up high. And the dunk by Isaac. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. Toronto out in front, up two. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Booker for three. And they'll get another chance. Oh, the slam! Get up, Devin! Big time slam from Booker, showing off his athleticism. And so it's Wiggins with it. He brings it up for Albuquerque. Now Paul takes it inside. And it's slammed in by Paul. Get up there, young fella. Sometimes as a point guard, you got to take it yourself. Well, it's okay to be selfish when you can flush it like that. Well, if he's calling his own number, there's a reason for it. There you respect the decision-making from him out there. On offense, here's Albuquerque. Trailing by two. For the tie. And it's all tied up. And just too good getting around the defender as Paul is such a savvy player. And so here is Toronto. Here goes Booker. Pass to Embiid. Booker looking around. Back to Embiid. Down to five on the shot clock. The shot's good. Embiid's gotten his second bucket. Without missing a beat, Embiid gets the shot up. And that's the work of an assertive offensive player. And Grant, I know you played a part in Embiid's decision to join Team USA. Yeah, B.A., I spent a lot of time talking to Joel Embiid and convincing him to play for us in the U.S. men's national team. He's got that quick trigger when he needs it. CP3. That's like lightning. For three, Booker. Goes back up. No stopping him there. Jams it in. And he's fouled. An opportunity to three-point play. That one belongs to Wiggins. Toronto shooting their first free throw in this game. Molding himself into one of the most dominant centers in the league, Embiid has really come into his own. Down low. Here's Gugliotta. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. He's having a good night from the field. Now, I know the defense is really keying in on him, but they need him involved if they're going to pull this out. And Steve Kerr calls time out here. He's going to talk it over with his guys. Some changes for Toronto. Up. 
A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Inside. Fultz is good. Fultz has got six points. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. Outside Paul. Rebound Toronto. Well, Mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. What a big finish out of the backcourt. That might be exactly what they needed at this point of the game. Defense has got to be better. Flat out effort was not there. They are looking really strong offensively. Yeah, just terrific momentum. Let's see if they can keep it up. The jumper from the wing off target. On offense, here's Albuquerque. Paul with it. Now Wiggins defending. Pass to Gugliotta. Here's Tucker. Buries it from three. Tucker's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And making the most of his three-point chances, that's Tucker just spotted up and ready to go. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. It's tipped. It's Wiggins on the wing. Outside Tucker. Takes the three. They grab their own miss. They set the screen. Here's Paul. Hits it from the high post. Nine points in the game. Turner for three. And it's in! Oh! Nails the buzzer beater! Are you kidding? A huge three allows them to snatch the lead heading into the final quarter. And we've just finished the third quarter. What a tight game we've got going. Toronto out in front. They're up by two. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. Paul with it. Pass to Gugliotta. Can't connect from long distance. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Now here's Turner. Here's the three. The shot is good. Fultz making the play. And Toronto leads by five. And defensively, how do you leave him that open in crunch time? And it's slammed in by Paul. Just got that ball on a string and uses that change of pace so effective. Chris Paul getting wherever he wants to go now. Here's Fultz. Pass to Turner. Oh, they get a hand on it. Five on the clock. Here's McGrady. Let's it go. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Oh, what great action we've seen tonight. Hard to imagine a more entertaining game. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Toronto leading by five. Pass to Harrington. Back to Fultz. And here's Turner. Pulls it from the top of the key. And it comes off the front of the rim. And here's Albuquerque now. And now they decide to foul intentionally. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. Both teams deciding to change it up from the inbound. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for Toronto. Well, the coaching staff has to love what they're seeing on offense. There's so many assists because how this team is moving the ball. And it seemed like throughout this game, right after the jump ball, they've just been feeling it from distance, getting all the looks they want and continuing to take advantage of that three-point line. Back to Booker. The outside leaner buries the jump shot. 
Tough to guard Devin Booker on a quick pick and roll with his size and speed. He can be very dangerous in these sets. Pass to Jackson. The three doesn't fall. Now four for six. Yeah, not a fan of that one, guys. If he wants to help his team cut into this deficit, he should not be attempting those kind of shots. Outside Booker. Oh, it's blocked by Green. Well, if you're going to make that offensive move, it's important to know where Danny Green is. One of the better shot-blocking guards you're going to find. And they forced the shot clock violation. Great D. If you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Pass to McGrady. Back to Murray. And here's Green from the arc. It's rebounded by Van Carroll. And so Van Carroll will bring it up for Toronto. Leading by five. Over to the wing. Now Embiid. Outside Booker. Clock at six. Back to Van Carroll. 13 feet out. And off the front iron, and in it goes. And Toronto leads by seven. His ability to shoot off the catch is a big plus. Bancaro has quick reactions, a really versatile score. Count the basket. I just think that's trouble. You're gonna you're gonna let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. Trying here to put the game out of reach. And that's why it's important to play this one smart. And here's Booker. Up top, Embiid. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Yeah, I love the use of the shot fake by Embiid. Smart basketball there. Second one is good. Getting both at the line. And it's a seven-point game. Yeah, the lead getting safer and safer as these free throws from the stripe go in. Here's McGrady. Driving to the basket. Count it! Well, the open man's out there. You got to feed him, and Murray gets the job done. Now here's Booker. And so Toronto takes the win. Boy, they didn't make it easy on their fans or themselves. But at the end of the day, everyone on their side is happy. Yeah, happy indeed. The momentum shifted away from them a few times, especially early on. But give these guys credit for sticking with the game plan and finishing the job. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game. So long, everyone.